Time for the annual chili video. I got poblano pepper I'm going to use in my chili. Some jalapeno peppers. I got some beef broth in there, just a can. And then a green pepper. What do I say? I got cayenne pepper. A couple pounds of this 80-20 uh, ground beef. I got some cumin. A little garlic because I didn't buy any fresh like an ant. Uh, dummy chili powder chipotle chili pepper oh I already said ground cumin this one is the uh, ancho chili powder regular chili powder and so I got some uh, I, I use these chipotle and adobo sauce I use about a half a can these little cans freeze the rest for later so I got the whole tomatoes, a couple cans of those big ones, and a couple onions to use, and my dark red kidney beans. This is a big can. It's like two small cans almost. What else do I got? Oh, I got some crushed red pepper. Got my cracked black, and some smoked paprika. This I'm going to put in there, and uh, maybe a little bit of the cayenne. I'm not sure yet. Quite a lot of stuff. Um, I'm gonna get this started, get the meat going in this a little bit of oil in this pan, I guess, and then add the onions and take it from there. So, this is my uh, Midwest brand of uh, beef and bean with tomato chili, a Midwest kind of a recipe. All right, get it started here. I'm doing this poblano pepper on the flame here. I'm gonna blacken this thing and take the skin off and use it like that, like a flame roasted. Mm. That's what it looks like after you get it all blackened. I'll put some saran wrap over this or whatever. Oh yeah! It's gonna be a lot of meat. You can see I already stuck some black pepper in there. So here's all my stuff here. I got the cayenne, the ancho, the regular chili powder, chipotle chili powder, the smoked paprika, the cumin, and the seeds, pepper flakes. I would say, uh, I would say when you get this uh, meat mostly brown, there's hardly any more pink in there. To uh, you can go in and take take some of that liquid out of there. It's easy to do it. <clears throat> Whoa! It's easy to do it. You could tilt the pan a little bit too. So yeah, take some of the liquid out. <clears throat> we'll drain it, whatever you want to do. And uh, it's time to put the onion in there. You don't need all that liquid in there. Let's see if I can do this a little better if I tilt it. Yeah, that worked good. Look at all that juice I got out of there. It's a lot of fat. Well, it started out with about a tablespoon, or a tablespoon and a half of olive oil, too, so. You know, I was going to say, um, <clears throat> people that are making chili, instead of doing all this stuff I did with all the different types of chili powder and stuff, basic good stuff is, uh, just get some regular chili powder. Mexican chili powder, maybe, uh, or just a regular. 
depending on if you got kids and stuff. And some cumin. That's, those two things together are great. And if you want to use a little uh, green pepper, bell pepper, that's all my mom used to use. She didn't, she didn't put all kinds of heat and stuff in there. So, I'll throw these onions in there. It's a lot of onion too. Just looking to soften them. Yeah! My neighbors probably love that shit. So anyway. That's it. I get these done about three or four, five minutes, something like that. I'll put the, uh, um, a couple spoons of garlic in there. The small spoons. minced up garlic and, and uh, olive oil. Saved my life a couple of times not having any fresh garlic. So I just put this crap in there. Pretty good. It stays in the fridge for a few months. Tastes like garlic too. Well there's those uh, chipotle peppers. If you never use them like tomato paste, chipotle peppers, um, tomato paste, uh, onion, and vinegar. I don't know if I can get a shot of that or not. Kind of like pickled uh, chipotle peppers and tomato paste and uh, with onion and stuff. So I'll use a couple of these to go in my chili. They're pretty juicy. And they're pretty spicy too. Yeah. Good stuff. Time to go in with the spices. I haven't added any salt yet. Just that black pepper and then this stuff here. Looking good. Chili. Oh. I'll probably add my chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. A lot of seeds and stuff in there. Things are good, man. Tell you what. Got it. Ooh, almost. The rest of it in the can is a half can left. I'm going to put it in the freezer. So, pots start to dry out a little bit. that much so cup and a half beef broth ooh that looks good 
maybe not even uh see it after I let this cook down a little bit. I'll add the tomatoes in a little bit. Focus. <laughs> so I'm going to take the skin off of there. And, uh, should leave me with the <coughs> some nice soft pepper to cut up and put in there. Um, I think I'll take the seeds out. We got enough seeds and crap in there already. But, yeah. worth it doing that on the stove and uh, they taste a lot better that way getting some of the roasted flavor of this pepper they change a little bit you know it's a little bit sweeter so I'll get this cut up put in there 